Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to learn about matrix arithmetic. So let's get started. This video acts as a foundation video for our next cipher that is Hill cipher, where we will be using various matrix arithmetic. So in this video, we are going to learn about three matrix arithmetic that are modulo determinant calculation, modulo matrix multiplication, and modulo matrix inverse. This video assumes that you guys know the mathematical working behind all these three operations because this won't be a mathematically intensive video but it will be a smart video where we'll learn how to use scientific calculator to perform all the three operations. With this, let's start with the first topic which is modulo determinant calculation. Let's take an example. Here we have a matrix A as follows. It's a 2 cross 2 matrix. We already know how to calculate the determinant of this matrix. We do 5 into 3 minus 8 into 17, which gives us a determinant. But let's see how to calculate this using a scientific calculator. So here we have the Casio calculator. Let's calculate the determinant in this calculator. We'll be using the matrix mode provided by the calculator, which is a sixth option. So we select the sixth option. And then we have three matrices, matrix A, B and C. Let's select the first one. Now we will select the dimension. Here we have a 2 cross 2 matrix. So we will select the fifth option. And then we will input the numbers. So we have 5, 8, 17 and 3. Now we have our matrix ready. Now let's calculate the determinant. We click on the AC button to go to the home screen. And then we use the shift key and use the button 4 which have matrix operation to get the matrix operation. Here the seventh option gives us the determinant operation. So we select the seventh one. We again go to the matrix operation by clicking on shift and 4 and select a matrix which is 3. Now we close the bracket and simply putting on the equal to sign we have the determinant here. So in this way we calculate the determinant of a matrix in a scientific calculator. So here the determinant of A is minus 121. Now in order to do the modulo determinant, we simply use determinant of A mod 26, which gives 9. If you guys are confused with this operation, I will highly recommend you guys to check out our modular operator video to understand the working of modular operator. Let's take another example. Here we have matrix B, which is a 3 cross 3 matrix. Let's use a scientific calculator to calculate the determinant of the same. We will go to the matrix operation by clicking on shift and 4. Then we select the first option that is dim, which represents dimension. Now we select a matrix A. Since it is a 3 cross 3 matrix, we select the first option. Now we input the metric values. So we have 4, 1, 5, 9. 7, 8, 6, 4, and 2. Now we have our matrix ready. Let's go to the home screen by clicking on the AC button. Now again we go to the matrix operation by shift 4, select the 7th option. Then we again go to shift 4, select our matrix A, which is by 3, close the bracket. And here we have the determinant of the matrix B which is minus 72. So determinant of B is minus 72. Again, if we want the modular determinant, we apply the mod 26 operator, which is minus 72 mod 26, which gives us 6. In this way, we calculate the modular determinant using a scientific calculator. The next topic is modular matrix multiplication. Let's again take an example. Let's consider matrix A, which is a 2 cross 2 matrix as shown and a matrix B which is a 2 cross 1 matrix as shown. Since A is a 2 cross 2 matrix and B is 2 cross 1 matrix, they are compatible for matrix multiplication. So let's perform matrix multiplication. So A cross B is matrix A into matrix B. Let's use a scientific calculator for doing the matrix multiplication. So we are in the matrix mode. We first input the matrix A by going to the matrix operation that is shift 4. Then we click on first, that is dimension. Then we select matrix A. Since A is a 2 cross 2 matrix, we select the fifth option, that is a 2 cross 2. 
and then input the values of a that is 5, 8, 17 and 3. Let's have the matrix B now. We again go to shift 4 that is matrix operation. Again select the first option. Now we select the matrix B. Since B is a 2 cross 1, we select the 6th option that is a 2 cross 1 matrix. We input the values that is 3 and 5. Now let's perform matrix multiplication on this. So we go to the matrix operation using shift 4. We select a matrix A by using the third button and then we multiply it with the matrix B which is a fourth option and clicking on equal to we get our result of the matrix multiplication which is 55 and 66. So A cross B gives us 55 and 66. In order to get the modular matrix we apply the modular operator. So we have 55 and 66 mod 26. So here we apply the mod 26 operator on each and every element of the matrix. So we have the following result. So 55 mod 26 is 3 and 66 mod 26 is 14. In this way we perform modular matrix multiplication using a scientific calculator. Finally let's see how to calculate modular matrix inverse. Let's take an example. Here we have a matrix A which is a 2 cross 2 matrix as shown and we need to find the A inverse mod 26. The formula for the modular matrix inverse is as follows. That is A inverse mod 26 is equal to the multiplicative inverse of the determinant of matrix A into adjoint of A mod 26. Where the adjoint of matrix A is equal to the determinant of matrix A into inverse of matrix A. Note here that A inverse represents the normal inverse and A inverse mod 26 represents the modular inverse. As you can see in order to calculate the modular inverse we require three things. First we need to calculate the determinant of matrix A. Then we have to calculate the multiplicative inverse of the determinant. And finally we need to calculate the adjoint of matrix A. Let's start with the step 1 that is calculation of determinant of matrix A. If you guys can recollect this is the same matrix that we have used in the modular determinant calculation example where we already calculated the determinant of A which was minus 121. So determinant of matrix A is minus 121. Let's go to the step number 2 which is calculating the multiplicative inverse of the determinant of A with respect to mod 26. Here we will be calculating the multiplicative inverse using the extended Euclidean algorithm. If you guys don't know how to calculate the multiplicative inverse using the extended Euclidean algorithm, I would highly recommend you guys to check out our multiplicative inverse video link in the i button. Coming back to the topic, here we have A as minus 121 which represents the determinant of matrix A and B is 26. Using the extended Euclidean algorithm, we have the following table. As we can see, since B3 is 1 which implies the multiplicative inverse exists which is the current B2 that is 3. So the multiplicative inverse of the determinant of A with respect to mod 26 is 3. Now let's move to the third step which is calculation of the adjoint of A. So this is our matrix A. In order to calculate the adjoint of matrix A, the formula is adjoint of A is equal to the determinant of A into inverse of A. Let's use a scientific calculator to calculate the adjoint of A. So we are in the matrix mode. Let's go to the matrix operation by clicking shift 4. We select the first option that is dimension. We select the matrix A and since it is a 2 cross 2 we select the option 5th. The matrix is already filled out there because the calculator remembers the history. So let's calculate the adjoint. So going with the formula first we use the determinant. So shift 4 then we select the determinant operation. Then again we select the matrix A which is the third option. We close the bracket then we multiply and select the matrix A and we use this button to calculate the inverse which represents minus 1. Now if we click on the equal to button here we have the adjoint of A. 
So a joint of A is 3, minus 8, minus 17 and 5. Now we have all the three elements. Now let's calculate the modulo inverse. So step number 4, we calculate the inverse of the matrix. So the formula is A inverse mod 26 is equal to multiplicative inverse of the determinant of A into adjoint of A mod 26. So let's input the values that we calculated in step 2 and 3. So your 3 represents the multiplicative inverse of determinant of A and this matrix represents the adjoint of A. Now as we know this is a scalar multiplication. So in order to perform scalar multiplication, we multiply the number with each and every element of the matrix. So we have 3 into 3, 9, 3 into minus 8 as minus 24, 3 into minus 17 as minus 51, and 3 into 5 is 15. Now we have to apply the mod 26 operator on each and every element of the matrix. So we have the following matrix. So 9 mod 26 gives 9, minus 24 mod 26 gives us 2, minus 51 mod 26 gives us 1, and 15 mod 26 gives us 15. And here we have the modular inverse of the provided matrix. So in this way we calculate the modular inverse of a matrix. Initially you might think it is a complex process but trust me, after revising the given example 2-3 times you will master it. So with this we have covered all the calculation related to matrix arithmetic using scientific calculator. In the next video we will use this for encryption and decryption of Hill cipher. So that's it for the video guys, thanks for watching the video and if you have any doubt, please do let us know in the comment section below and if you have found the video helpful, do like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to be the best channel for more such videos. Meet you in the next video of the CSS series, bye bye.